Offstage Hang, episode 103. 103. Darren Lim, Ray Ray. This episode is brought to you by our friends from, from Likang Harina. Yeah, Likang Harina. Uh, Salamat this, sa ano, kape. Kape at, uh, at bread. Bread, bread, yeah. bread. bread. This next uh, guest is one of the most requested. Oh, tsaka nung parang naalala ko nung, syempre nung 2000s, medyo golden era ng, well, first, Marami namang golden era. Pero one of the golden eras of OPM for yes, me. Yes, yes. So, syempre, yung mga songs nila defined that era as well. Aside from yung mga ano, idols natin na iba. Pero yun nga. Tum- kaya tumatak rin talaga sa akin yung Orange and Lemons. Kasi, yun, it's one of the biggest soundtracks of that era. So, you do the yun. intros. So, yun, without further ado, please welcome the guitarist and now frontman of Orange and Lemons, Clem Castro. Clem. Welcome to the show. Hey. Hey, Sorry. Hey. All right. <laughs> uh, welcome to the show, Clem. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Darren. Right. Start tayo sa, sa now. Sa present, anong pinagkakaabalahan mo ngayon, Clem? Sa ngayon, ano? Mostly gigs and uh, a few recordings. Uh, medyo delayed na on the recording part. Uh, Gigs. The last, the last uh, r- record I, uh, we released was uh, an, an, an album in 2020. Pa, eh. Okay. Yeah. The, these are gigs with, with ONL or Butterfly, uh, uh, Dragonfly, Dragonfly Collector, Black, uh, Clementine, anong, <laughs> anong version, uh, anong this, this uh, 2024? Sa ngayon, mostly sa Orange and Lemons ako busy because of, uh, well, kind of in demand okay. thing. So we're taking advantage of it. Mm. Uh, so Dragonfly panaka-naka lang 'yan. You know? okay. Kasi most it's a hobby hobby project ko lang 'yun eh. and uh yeah, in camera walls uh we're trying to record another track. And so yeah. Na- nabanggit mo kanina na y- you're on the way to the province. Sabi niya Rames parang he's going to uh, Abra Abra rin, parang ganun. So is touring a big part of what you what you guys do now? Yeah, very exhausting yung touring you know, sa ngayon ngayon. Uh, lately, lately, uh, parang 2006 all over again. Are you uh, <laughs> dalam yung schedule mo? Ngayon? Unahin na natin. Wag na, wag na, okay lang yun. Madali na mang hanapin yung <laughs> schedule. Oh, okay, okay. So ganito, if if people want to see Orange and Lemons this month or mm-hmm. any any time, saan nila hanapin yung details? Facebook. Sa yeah. Facebook. Nakapin siya lahat. Orange Where to na. find us this March or this April. From gigs to bookings. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, andun na naman. Madali namang hanapin. Okay. Yeah. So, okay lang ba if we go into, yun nga, how you guys, let's start with how you guys formed. Paano nag, uh, nabuo uh, and siguro bakit orange and lemons. Sige, sige. Medyo masalimuot yan eh. Pero nag-start nung yan high school. <laughs> nag-start nung high school yan. Ang... Uh, uh, kami ni Makoy is uh, uh, classmates kami nung high school eh, sa Bulacan, sa Baliwag, Bulacan. And then, uh, naging, nagtayo kami ng band, parang Beatles ng Mariana Ponce High School. <laughs> Ganun. Yeah, seryoso yun. And uh, that time kasi sa PTB4, di ba? Puro Beatles. So, doon kami na-inspire na magtayo ng band. And, uh, yun, school gigs. And then, uh, uh, later on, college, uh, tinuloy namin uh, mga, mga members lang na iba eh so uh, after college saan college yan? Sa uh, pa rin, UP no? sila eh ako sa PWU ako eh and uh, tinuloy namin uh, mostly ako yung uh, nagpupursigin na let's, uh, let's 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 do this because uh, I remember nung high school nakasabay ka namin eh first time namin sa UP fair Yung golden advice mo sa lahat. Ako? Naranasan ko rin yun sa'yo, man. <laughs> oh second year. So, bata pa rin ako kasi UP Fair eh. UP Fair, UP oh. Fair. Ano uh, taon yan? 90s to, man. Uh, 90s. Siguro ano ako eh. Uh, advice? Naniwala naman kayo sa akin. Freshman ako eh. Or no, no. High, di ko alam kung high school ako or... Feeling ko high school. Ang pangalan namin nun, The Voice. The Voice? V-O-I-Z. Okay, uh, okay. Sa backstage na kami nag kami nag open sa UP Fair that time kayo yung headliner okay. yung Razor Heads. Uh, naka-hangout namin kayo backstage. Yung golden advice mo na sulat ka lang ng kanta. 
Baka yeah. hindi ako yun. Ikaw yun, man. <laughs> I have a I have a photo of it. <laughs> May Backstage. picture. Yes, yes. I have as, a photo. As orange and lemons na to. Hindi pa. Uh, uh, o nga, the voice. The earlier voice. incarnation uh, pa yan. Uh, tapos from there, uh, the voice naging uh, sweet silence band, irony, the cranes. Ganda na the uh, cranes. The cranes. Arang gusto ko yun, the yun yung, cranes. Yung the cranes, yun yung malatard album ng orange and lemons. Yun, medyo psychedelic na. Mm-hmm. And then... Uh, nagkaroon uli ng line, lineup changes na buo na yung Orange and Lemons kasi yung keyboardist namin nawala that time tapos yung gitara namin hiram-hiram lang eh so nawalan din ako ng gitara kasi may nag-provide nun uh, back to basic kami naging four, uh, trio ay quartet uh, kaya naging yung sound ng Orange and Lemons naging ganun Mm-hmm. Wala rin ako effects dati, naka-metal zone ako eh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, as in, iba, iba yung tugtugan namin nun. Eh, but that time, nakikinig na ako ng uh, mga Smiths at Britpop. New wave. So, happenstance yung naging sound namin. So, I, I rearrange our old material to sound like uh, to, sound li- to sound like that. So, parang naging clean. Ang hirap nun, ini-imagine ko na uh-huh. magkakaibang school, galing kang Taft, mm-hmm. tapos nasa diliman yung bandmates mo. Iba, Sanang uh-huh. gitna? Saan kayo nakikitaan para tumugtog? Sa... May VHS uh, rental. <laughs> Ganda ng VHS. <laughs> may VHS rental yung, ano, yung, yung keyboardist namin sa may... Uh, Saan ba to? Bago mag-SM North. Yung, okay. pi- yung Philippine Rabbit Station doon. Oh, oh, oh. Doon kami nag-rehearse. May studio siya doon. May studio siya doon. Sa taas ah, ng VHS rental. Wow. <laughs> doon namin nubuo yung mga songs. Pop quiz. Sino mm-hmm. ang OPM rock artist na galing sa PWU? Oh, the Don. Si Teddy. That's right. Oh, uh, yeah. I hang out stig, with the... Uh, The, the, the music uh, department doon eh. Tsaka fine arts. Anong so, legend sa kanya? I've never met Teddy. Fre- nung freshman ako, hindi ko na siya inabot eh. So, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Anong kwento sa PW about Teddy? Kasi legend na yun by the time dumating tayo, di ba? Well, uh, well na- napag-uusapan siya. Pero, syempre, hindi naman lahat familiar eh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, mga music buff lang talaga yung Nag- nakakilala sa kanya. Nag-music ka ba sa... Sa PWU? Dude man, layo. Ano HRM ako. HRM? <laughs> <laughs> bakit, bakit yun? Ano uh, UPLB ako pumasa. BS Math. Wow. Ay, ayaw akong payagan ng parents ko kasi malayo. Eh, hindi na ako nakapag-exam sa ibang schools. So, yung brother ko nagtuturo sa PWU ng uh, computer science. So, para may, mag, uh, may, may guardian ako. Doon ako pinag-aaral. And namili na lang ako ng, uh, ng courses. Uy, bago to sa tenga ko. HRM. <laughs> so, bago lang yung computer science noon. Bago lang din. Kasi yung no? kapatid ko, computer science, si coach doon, nag-computer science sa PWU. Bago lang bago yun. Lang, din, oh, bago, yeah. bago lang yung computer. Para silang ano, para oh, forward, ad- mas forward. Yeah. Speaking of your folks, ano yung sounds ng parents mo sa, sa bahay growing up? My father is a rondalia instructor. Wow. So, so n- nagkalat sa bahay mga rondalia instruments. And uh, mang- ang lolo ko, pintor. Yun. So, family of uh, artists. artists talaga. And uh, ang sounds uh, from folk music, uh, ano ba uh, andiyan yung mga folk na Amerikana eh mm-hmm. like James Taylor mm-hmm. ayan ba sila recently mm-hmm. nag James Taylor last week eh ah, hindi, hindi hindi lahat sa feed ko parang kagulo kay James Taylor oh, so oh. mga ganun ganun yung music sa bahay mm-hmm. uh, ang mga plaka ng airpod ko mga mga banda 14 mm-hmm. mga, <laughs> mga brass band rondalia tsaka so, mga naging part ka ng rondalia Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Lahat kami eh. Sa buong family namin, lahat, we know how to play rondalia. Wow. Madali lang ba mag ano? Kung magaling ka na sa rondalia, madali lang mag-guitar? Uh, part kasi ng rondalia yung guitar eh. So, you, you will be able to pick up everything. Eh. Ikaw pala dapat yeah. tinawagan ko. Ang tagal namin naghanap ng rondalia na sa more- para mag-record. Sa morena? <laughs> Oo. Oh, so, ikaw lang pala dapat. Ang dami-dami ko. Si, kilala ba kayong rondalia? Para... <laughs> Ikaw pala dapat ang una kong tinawagan. I think ako yung 
unang gumamit ng hindi naman una sa con- sa contemporary music ako yung nag-incorporate na una ng rondalya madalas mm-hmm. sa mga songs hindi uh, ko agad yun, so like the most iconic bandura intro is uh, nasa Pinoy ako eh mm-hmm. <laughs> so ayun because of my father uh, yeah, uh, eventually yan yeah. Uh, inexploit ko talaga yung rondalya sa bago naming album Labulake niya Labulake Paano nag uh, paano lumipat dun sa from from the music of your folks to to yung music na pinapakinggan nun nyo as 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 kids Paano paano naman napunta ano yung gateway mo sa sa Britpop and new wave and rock Ano na lang siya eh parang uh, semi conscious effort na siya eh, na kasi uh, like you said sa 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 vlog mo na you don't repeat yourself eh. mm. so uh, kami rin eh i mean uh, we we try to i try to ano eh to experiment and uh, de- deviate uh, uh, so nung dahil nag reform kami after 10 years so, hindi ko na alam anong gagawin namin, anong susulat namin. So, naisipan ko parang tribute na rin sa airpot ko na namatay. Uh, gawin natin kung di man. As in, the whole album, yun yung... Itong Labulakenya. Yeah. Labulakenya, mm-hmm. yeah. So, yung Labulakenya is also a painting of Juan Luna sa mm-hmm. National Museum of Fine Arts. So, ginawa namin ng kanta. Nag-cover kami ng kung man talaga kay Nicanor Abelardo. Bituin marikit. Ano yung karakteristik ng kondiman na song? Parang paano ba? Is it different from a normal song? Or, or uh, may theme lang siya? Ang, ang kondiman kasi... Um, alam mong luma siya eh. Pag narinig mo eh. <laughs> Mahirap i-describe eh. O, yun yung mga... Close siya sa term na harana. Pero... Ano ang difference? Ang harana kasi, ano siya eh, may purpose siya eh. Ang purpose, oo. Oh. Ang, ang ligaw parang Ang ligaw siya eh, oo. Oh. Ang, ang kundiman, ge- mas general siya of uh, music of at a period eh. Mm-hmm. So, anong, anong period sa Pilipinas ba siguro, prevalent ang ano? 40s. 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 May, may recordings pa niya na ano? Meron pa, meron nakikita. Pa. Meron pa sa YouTube eh. Na... Si Nicanor Abelardo sa kanya pinangalan ng College of Music ng UP. Yeah, yeah. Abelardo. Abelardo Hall. Hall. Oh. So yun, hindi, hindi ko alam kung bastardization yung version namin pero... Kasali, hindi kasali yun. Kasali yun para mag ano yung music, para oh. mag, mag move forward kung hindi natin gagamitin yung mm-hmm. influences oh. natin, masyadong pure. Luma lang yun, di ba? Oh. Pero pag ano... Kailangan gamitin yung ano. Pero yun yung purpose para mm-hmm. yung new generation ma-appreciate siya in, a, in its uh, contemporary form. Of course, yes. So, we... Otherwise, di sila makakon- di tan- <laughs> kahit ako hindi ako makakonect <laughs> kung pure, <laughs> kung pure kung man or pure harana, uh-huh. di ba? Uh-huh. So, yun. Uh, sobrang ano eh, mag, uh, evolution lang talaga. And... Uh, uh, we, we, we always, on Orange and Lemons naman kasi, always we go against the flow. We do not care about the trend. Ano yung process uh, da, ng writing dito? Did you start on, on music na rondalya or you started on acoustic guitar or full band jamming or lyrics muna? How did, how did it go, yung process? Most of the time, ang stilo ko, lyrics muna. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's kasi pag uh, nauna yung lyrics, mas may freedom ka na baliin ng melody mm-hmm. tsaka yung mga chords. Kaya ang dami kong chords minsan eh. <laughs> so, yun. Yun yung style ko. And then, uh, mas, na, mas nahanapan ko siya ng tamang uh, mood. Depending on kung ano yung lyric ko eh. So, yeah, lyrics. Pag kasi sinimulan ko ng music or chord pattern, medyo talina ako sa pattern na yun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tapos pag uh, ang haba ng sinulat mo, pagkakasyahin mo yung phrasing sa, oh. <laughs> sa So, isusulat mo muna oh. yung letra, tapos lalapatan mo ng gitara. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tapos paano mo, nandun na ba yung buong banda o ikaw pa lang? Yun? Ako pa lang. Uh, Paano mo pinipresent? As a demo or tutugtugin mo sa harap nila? Minsan demo, minsan uh, I'll play it live 
for them pa jam kagad mm-hmm. so depending on our uh, mood or kung kailan kami magkakasama um sino pero, kabatuhan mo ng idea sa current lineup ngayon na uh, kaming lahat uh, very collaborative. I try to be I try to make it very collaborative kasi para mas uh, memorable yung experience. Yeah, pero before kasi nung natuto ako mag uh, ano yung finale mm, uh-huh. software notation. Hindi ako mag uh-huh. hindi ako note reader pero inaral ko lang yun para marinig ko siyang mag playback. Mm. Like uh, yung hanggang kailan, yung umuwi ka na baby. Ninotate ko siya, nung sinulat ko siya, ninotate ko siya, melody, drum, bass, uh, and uh, lead lines. Tapos, may mp3 na ano eh. Pwede mo siyang gawin mp3. May playback kasi, so makikita mo kaagad yung areglo. Uh, 2000, 2003 yata yun, finale 2003. So, wala akong background sa Ikaw music. Ikaw lang kilala ko gumagawa ah. niyan. Tsaka si Ryan Kayabiyab yung sa note, notation not, app nag, nagsisimula yung kanta. Kasi lahat pumipindot ng, ng square sa square pushing lahat sa ano eh, sa do eh. Ikaw lang yung una eh, wala, kong narinig. Wala kaming, wala kaming access sa do nun eh. Mm-hmm. Dahil uh, <laughs> imagine nyo fascinated. 2002, wala. Ang computer nun mabagal pa eh. Mm-hmm. Diba? Parang oh, flabby. Wala pang mini flabby nung pa. 2002. At mm. least tayo dito sa Pilipinas. Tapos ang ginagawa ko nun, kung gusto kong uh, marinig yung, pari, gumawa ako ng lead guitars, dalawa yung kaset ko. I-re-record ko yung rhythm part. Tapos i-re-record ko sila sabay habang Kasabi. tinutugtog ko yung lead. Tama. tama. Para marinig ko yung final output. <laughs> Ikaw mag binabounce mo ba doon sa kanilang kaset. kaset. We all do yan. Lahat tayo ginawa yan. <laughs> yung para lang marinig yung mm. multi-tracking. Oh. Pero home, homemade, homemade na destructive lang. multi-tracking. Yeah. <laughs> Dami kong nasirang kaset player nun. <laughs> so yung kaset player mo ba may mic na video okay? O yung kaset lang mismo yung na mic, tape deck? Yung, yung built-in na built-in. mic na. Oh. Bangas. <laughs> 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 Tell us about your journey nung, nung oh, Orange and Lemons nung simula yung how did how did you get uh how did you get signed how where, where you played kasi Bulacan based mm-hmm. ba to o Manila based Bulacan na? Bulacan talaga uh, lumuluwas kami sa Manila just to play gigs mm. uh, mga nag-start kami sa new wave cover band and then eventually nag uh, inject kami ng originals when the when it came to the point that the originals sounded better than the covers mm. so na napapansin na kami nagkakaroon kami nagkaroon kami ng mga parang following going to the gigs because of the new wave covers but eventually na napapansin na yung mga originals so hanggang sa may naka-discover na manager na discover kami ni Toti Dalmasyon ng uh, Terno. Terno. Terno kami yung kauna-unahang Terno. Ah, artist. talaga? Yes, Terno 001. Astig, <laughs> si Toti yeah. pala ang may sala. Okay, Oo, okay. So, ayun. Uh, uh, ang nag-produce nung mga tracks namin, si Boom Jose ng uh, Violent, Violent Playground. Play- no. playground wow. Siya, bago napunta kay Toti. Okay, si Boom is now abroad yata. Mm-hmm. Ayan o. No? Isa sa mga unang sound engineer niyo na coming from from the band scene, mm-hmm. si Boom. Tapos, uh, Ilang albums ginawa ni Boom? Isa lang. Yung first album yung yung first. Sa, sa Terno. Uh, wala pang Terno nun. Inodus lang niya. Terno. Hindi pa. Uh, Tapos uh, kay Sa Angie kami, kay Angie Rosul. Sa tracks. Mm-hmm. Tracks. O oh, parang kumuha siya ng mga use na... Tape reel. Tape reel. <laughs> Bakit kasi? Analog eh. Analog. Di bakit kailangan use? Mahal kasi. Ah. Mahal eh. Sobrang mahal ng tape. Walang <laughs> budget. <laughs> Mas mura ba pag, I mean yung Pero rate hindi, mo? Parang wala. sindikato yun. Ito gamitin yeah. natin. Oh. Wala namang gumagamit nito. Parang, which is practically illegal kasi ang may-ari nun yung record company. Mm-hmm. So pag nakita nung engineer, wala namang gumagamit ito. Kinalimutan na tong artist na to. Or it's papatungan sa, lang. Papatungan lang. Mas mura. Yeah. Or baka yung 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 session na yon hindi binayaran alam mo yon hindi <laughs> nila lang gamitin kunwari may may isang uh, independent artist gusto mag-record hindi kumpleto yung mm-hmm. bayad pero bumili siya ng bagong tape ah, pwede mo nang gamitin yon hindi <laughs> naman niya pwede uwi yung tape kasi wala ka namang tape 2 inch tape machine sa bahay mm-hmm. so madami doon tapes Astay. na pwedeng 
pwedeng patungan. <laughs> Sobrang galing. So, at Pero time, nagka-problema yun kasi nasira yung resonance ng, ewan ko ba, yung, yung drum track. Mm-hmm. Dahil gamit na gamit na yung <laughs> ilang beses. So, so at that time, nasulat na ba yung mga, like spending my days is one, yung first ba, na parang medyo yeah, oh, sa, no, sulat na yun lahat oh, before you approach Uh, before kayo nakita ni Toti. Oh, actually, some of the songs in the third album na, na, nakasulat na rin, lalo na yung mga uh-huh. mabibigat. Mm. Uh, sulat na rin siya. So, ang ginawa ko, dahil uh, hugot lang ako sa shelf, uh, let's start with uh, mga juvenile songs. So, sa kanya yung medyo psychedelic. Mm-hmm. Dumaan tayo dun eh. Uh, so, ayun. Ayun. Uh, Ayun, sinuwerte kami. Uh, saan, saan pala kayo na-meet ni Toti? Saan kayo nakita? Ni-recommend. Uh, kasi magkakakilala sila nila Boom eh. Okay. Oo, oh, oh, um, dahil sa aga mu- mulak. Experience? Experience, di ba? <laughs> wow! <laughs> aga mulak experience, ang unang drummer, si Toti Dalmasyon. Si Toti yan, oo. Oh. That was Toti, Diego, Diego Castillo, oh, oh, oh. si Mayrin. And yung singer so, nila. daming na, beses na lumabas yung Aga Mula. Oo nga. Sa Tapos podcast. si Mike yung huling drummer. Kaya kinuha ko silang tatlo. <laughs> <laughs> Galing nung Aga, Aga Mula experience. Yo, Tama. Huwag ka sila eh. Oh. <laughs> Nasa Amerika yung singer nila. Pag tuwing babalik, may reunion talaga sila. Tumutugtog talaga sila doon. <laughs> So, and then, ano yung next move nun, no, after getting signed? What was your plan? And ano yung mga intentions ninyo? Ako, clueless ako sa mga plans and intentions kasi as a, as someone who doesn't know anything about the music business, parang gusto ko lang talagang tumugtog. Yeah, gusto ko lang magsulat. Yeah, and uh, kumbaga, sa banda kasi ako yung tumata yung uh, creative director eh. In terms of uh, songwriting, arrangements, and all, uh, and how to Kasali package yun, and kasa- brand. Yeah, yes, so. yung, yung, yung how do you present yourself mm-hmm. in public, Actually, yung, yung suot, oh, yung buhok, yung, yung, yes. yung album covers, yung art, ikaw, ikaw, yeah. yung ano nun. Mm-hmm. So, yun. Uh, uh, ako yung, kumbaga sa restaurant, ako yung back of the house. Okay. <laughs> Malaking change nung, kasi ang, ang prominent ni, ni Makoy sa band. Mm-hmm. Would, are you willing to tell us the story? Paano kayo nag, nag part ways? Uh, ano siya eh? Most, siguro uh, part burnout. Uh, part uh, siguro, ego. Alam mo naman, pag bata tayo, andyan yung mga ego at yung pride natin. Pag nasasaktan yan eh, kakaroon ng lamat. Eh. Mm-hmm. Uh, na, minsan makakalimot ka tumingin kung saan tayo nang galing. So, ayun. Uh, and then, syempre, when fame and money comes into the picture, uh, people change. Eh. Uh, we can't deny that. Eh. And uh, magbabago rin yung mga objectives mo sa buhay, directions mo sa buhay, priorities mo, and uh, paghalu-haluin mo lahat yan, uh, magkakaroon ng ano, separation of ways. Yeah. Nung so, naghiwalay kayo, Nag-disband ba o kayo lang dalawa naghiwalay? Ano siya eh? Um, kukwento ko ba ulit? <laughs> Sige. First time dito? First time yun? First time. Uh, first time. Um, nagkaroon kami ng ano eh, uh, parang bull session eh. So, sa bull session na yun, kami lang dalawa ta- actually. Um, sabihan kami ng sama ng loob and hope, hope, hoping na magkaroon ng compromise. Pero nag-walk out siya eh. Okay. Oo. And then he declared na on the next gig, uh, hindi na daw siya akyat pag nandun ako. Okay. So ganun yung nangyari. So hindi ko alam kung paano i-expound pero hanggang doon na lang siguro. Oh. Tapos you kept the band? Who g- no, no, no. Ah... Uh, <laughs> Uh, pinagbigyan ko yung setup na yan just to finish the commitments. commitment. So, so, ilang so months mga, yun, No, uh, a few, two weeks yata. Okay. Ganun. Kasi mainit, sige, mainit pa yung... Mainit pa eh. So, sige, uh, ako na yung nagparaya. But eventually, I got a call from our road manager uh, telling me na, Clem, inaalis ka na sa banda. 
Ay, kung inaalis. Okay. So, That's odd. It is. It is. Kung, Parang unbelievably odd, odd na ganun na nangyari. And uh, I can't... Nagkaroon ng wall. Wall. Na wala na akong makonta kahit sino. Okay. From everyone. So, I felt ganged up. Maybe, uh, siguro, fault ko na rin. Di ba? Um... I don't know. Uh, hindi ko na rin kasi narinig yung side nila eh. So, mm-hmm. it's very clear that they don't want to work with me anymore. So, ganun yung nangyari. Then, uh, but I fought for it. I fought for the name and my place in the band. Sabi nung, uh, we resorted to legal na eh. Kasi nga, I can't talk to them eh. So, sabi nung lawyer ko, magpunta ka sa mga gigs. Yeah, you have to assert your presence. But uh, ang hirap nun. Ang hirap nun, no? Hirap so I showed up sa mga gigs. And they end up not playing when they see me there. And uh, nag-press conference sila na telling everyone na I left the band. But the truth is, they fired me. So that's what happened. Halos sabay kami ni Rico Blanco dyan, eh. Ah, talaga? Oo. Oh, pag alis niya, ako naman, nawala siya orange and lemons. Oh. Kaya nag-hang out kami nyan. <laughs> Hindi ko. Kapi tayo. <laughs> oh. so, Tapos, anong ginawa mo? How did it become... Uh, anong ginawa mo for the next few years? Nung nag, ah, nag, ano naman, na-resolve siya. Uh, Kung baga, wala nang gagamit nung, nung ah, name. Okay. Mm. Because yun nga, yun nga sa akin. Kasi I, I work hard for this band. Ah... Uh, na hindi tama kung mawawala ako sa picture, itutuloy nila. So, so yung resolution namin is, no one will use the name. And uh, move on na lang tayo. I will do my thing. You guys do your thing. Then afterwards, um, I did not waste time. I formed the camera walls. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, pero kininsider kita man, ha? Ah, Ito hindi mo natatandaan. <laughs> hindi, hindi, hindi mo na ito natatandaan. <laughs> okay. One time sa 70s Bistro, lumapit ka sa amin, kasama mo si Buddy. Mm. Lumapit ka sa amin. Clem, pagkailangan mo ng banda, andito kami ni Buddy. <laughs> Putsa man, hindi ko makakalimutan. Talaga? Ito. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you don't remember that? <laughs> so, ayun, uh, kinonsider, <laughs> kinonsider ko yun. Kinonsider ko yun. Oh shit, parang... Overwhelming siya, man. Uh, may, may band naman tayo. It's it's not a real, real mm-hmm. band. Yung that Coke uh, band. Yeah, Project Orange. Pro- project One? Project One, Ay, man. Project, project, one. project One. Project One, sorry. Oh, it's, Iba we, it's not, guys, it's not a real band. Yeah. It was it was for, to pay to pay rent. <laughs> it so, was formed for a, for a campaign, so. Mm-hmm. so I, I, I chose you. I I picked that band. Mm-hmm. Kasi binigyan ako oh, ng list ng members. And then, hey, I want this guy. I want this guy. <laughs> I want this guy. Parang. But it was a one 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 song thing. It was a it was a corporate project by by Coke. Ayun. So eventually, uh, the camera walls. The camera walls. Uh, kinuha ko yung mga old members ko uh, during high school. Mm-hmm and uh, college ayun nabuo yung camera walls three piece lang and uh, i needed to learn about the music business mm-hmm. but i don't want to be f- fucked up parang yeah. mangyari yeah. ayo ko na uli ma- okay. maulit yung nangyari so i st- i formed lily stars records so yun dun dun yung journey ko sa music business side and uh, i got fed up with with the showbiz of everything nag underground talaga ako mm-hmm. consciously so parang i separated myself or yeah from that scene mm-hmm. you know, consciously and uh did what i want to do and for so many years hindi ako kumakanta ng orange and lemon song mm. just to prove that i don't need that to 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 keep me to keep me happy with what I do as an artist. So, do na, I wore my artist hat the whole time na. And of course, I wear, I wear my uh, business hat pag, because of the label. So, inaral ko yun talaga. Um, contracts, publishing. A- ano yung label mo ngayon? Lily Stars Records. Lily Stars. Ako, isa ako sa mga unang artist-owned Lily. 
na label. It's still going ah, okay. on until now, uh, 16 years na. Oh. BB Star Swaggers. I have uh, artists in and out of the country. Mm. So b- before your before your uh, this breakup, you had major success with with that the uh, single. Pinoy Big Brother. Mm. How, how was that yeah. uh, adventure? <laughs> it's a social experiment. Li. Okay. Yeah, because that time, binabash kami ng uh, New Wave 101 Yahoo groups. Eh. What is that? What is uh, that? Like, uh, like a chat room? Parang or? Yahoo groups. Okay, okay. Yahoo, Yahoo groups, groups na <laughs> may members who are like hardcore New Wave. Wow, mga New okay, Wave okay. for that time. Kasi nga, may British accent kami sa mga songs namin. Eh. So, maraming, maraming nagbabash sa amin. At, uh, parang, How did you feel about it? I didn't mind eh. So, mm. parang pinagtripan ko sila eh. With Pinoy ako eh. So I the truth is I sampled that song. Mm-hmm. So I iba naman yung sampling sa plagiarism. Eh. So yeah. just to see how, how the reaction. Diba? So but it it was a major success and it and was. propelled the band to It was. all all over the country and outside, diba? But I didn't like it. Uh, yung yung experiment mo uh, <laughs> na, <laughs> na <ganun. laughs> I, I didn't <laughs> like it eh. De, okay. uh, hindi ko nagustuhan yung yung commercial success why why uh, dumating kami sa point na uh, kilala kami ng tao because of that song okay but that's not but a that real the, identity eh. uh, that's not it's a commercial project kasi okay. mm, that's not me it's... I didn't even write that song Music lang ako. Okay. Uh, hindi ako nag-lyric ko nun. I will not write something like that. Okay, okay. So, hindi ko personality yun as a, as a songwriter. And, so, you uh, were approached by the... by the TV ABS. show? ABS? Mm-hmm. Na ito yung letra, lapatan nyo, and then we'll mm-hmm. promote it, parang ganyan. Yeah, okay, one okay. week, uh, kailangan daw nila, in one week, may music video, may recording. Uh, ayun. In one week. So, magkano? Ah, okay. Sige, gawin natin yun. <laughs> ah, I, uh, not, I have it. no problem it's with it. that. Oh. But I, I have, <laughs> hindi ko alam kung ano yung PBB or Big Brother. Hindi ako familiar. <laughs> hindi ko alam na napaka-massive pala nun. So, <laughs> so, uh, when I, when I started working on it, ayun, sa finale uli yun eh. In, in, inaareglo ko. Pucha, sisikat to ah. <laughs> Ganun na yun, nais. Uh, okay, okay, sige, sige. Uh, nung lumabas siya, yun na nga. It was massive. It oh, was grabe, massive. Grabe. You toured that song how many years? Two, three? Uh, siguro yung 2006 na yun. Uh, sa buong taon, dalawang linggo lang kami walang gig. Every day. Wow. Every, Every day. day. Yung dalawang linggo na yun, sparse pa yun. Ha? Hindi magkakasama yun. <laughs> Hanggang saan buong Pilipinas at saan pa kayo tumugtog? Amerika, yeah. naka, nag-tour? Once there. lang eh. Disbanded na kami nung no. nag-Amerika kami. Uh, what do you mean disbanded na? Disbanded na. Parang commitment na lang siya eh. Okay, pero wala na nag-uusap. Wala na. Hiwalay ako ng kotse, hiwalay ako ng hotel room. Hindi oh, ko alam paano yan oh, eh. Joke parang... lang. <laughs> <laughs> Sabihin ko pa lang eh. Parang I think alam niya. <laughs> si Bajo, hindi yan alam. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we've all been there. <laughs> we've all been there. We've all been there. So, kapas, kita-kita lang sa stage, may pre, predetermined na yung set list. Mm. Di ba? Kung ano kakantahin ko, kung mm. ano kakantahin niya. Tapos, uh, that's the hardest thing. I can, no, I, we can attest that that's the hardest thing. It's hard, do. pero na-enjoy ko yun. Enjoy ko yun. I played my heart out. Of course. So, I always saw you guys. You all, yeah. No matter what, I saw you, whenever I see you, always play your heart out. Mm. Small shows, big shows, benefits. Mm. Like, Thousands yung audience, lima lang yung nasa maliit yeah, na ba? You, you always matter. play your heart out. Where does that come from? I, playing, I, playing, like, balls out. I have my own world kasi when I go on stage, I don't really look at people. Yeah, Parang when performing, uh, that's my, I have my own, this is my dimension. Eh. Mm-hmm. Ganun ako eh. This is my, this is my ultimate expression. But a lot of, mm. a lot of musicians do that. Like, yung may sariling mundo. Mm. But, this is my question. How do you connect? But Because you connect. I see you connect with the audience and hawak mo na yung lahat. Parang, 
parang inang hirap ngayon eh kasi oh, naging frontman na ako eh mm-hmm. okay <laughs> so it took me a lot of uh, a few years of uh, adjusting to that i have to think about the set list the guitars the vocals and connecting with the, the audience so taxing siya for me as opposed to uh, may set list tutugtugin ko lang yan magwawala ako sa stage or what mm-hmm. diba just may crooner ako eh <laughs> <laughs> oh, tama, tama. Ang hirap ngayon, di ba? Ang hirap. Uh, pero, ayun, nakapag-adjust naman. Lalo na yung kakanta ka habang nag-lead. Ang hirap nun eh. What goes oh. on in your head bago sumalang? Uh, so ngayon, ala na. I got used to it. Okay. So, but syempre, I have to think about... Uh, Do you have a switch na parang game on, parang basketball? Parang, or, wala na. Wala na. Walang, game walang, na lagi. No? Oh, so, just, just, just give me the guitar. <laughs> give me the guitar. Okay na. <laughs> And then, tingnan natin yung crowd. Ano bang crowd to? Okay. Uh, paano ba tayo? Ina-adjust mo ba yung songs depending on the Depending crowd? on the crowd. So, may set list kami. Minsan, hindi ko sinusunod dyan eh. Oh, so, Pero ikaw din gumawa ng set. <laughs> <laughs> Kaya inis na inis sa akin yung mga kabanda ko minsan. Do you still, to this day, do you still pay, play the Pinoy ako? Ah, uh, ano lang. Ah, uh, patutsyada lang. Okay, Siguro okay. intro, yan. Pero uh, hindi ko kanakanta eh. Okay, Kakakanta okay. ko lang sa tao. Alright. That's fair, that's fair. So, Anong masab mong difference nung audience dati sa so, gumigig ka sa ngayon? Mas rowdy before eh. Mas na, naranasan ko, tigitigi sa kaming bodyguard eh. <laughs> oh, puti. Tapos ang mga ang mga front acts namin, mga sexy stars. Ngayon o noon? Noon. Ah, grabe. <laughs> <laughs> grabe. <yun. laughs> Itong lahat may banda eh para uy san 'yun. Ganoon ba? Diyan yun so. Sa mga tumugtog doon. Yan sama daw si Bajao. Ano eh? Rowdy yung mga tao eh. Noon time na 'yun, ano eh, motorcade pa ang uso eh. Yeah, motor gate pagbaba mo ng airport to oh, sasakay ka ng pickup iikot ko yun ng buong town di ba tapos Lapa social media <laughs> search <laughs> yun na yung announcing the arrival oh. of orange and lemon <laughs> paano kayo nag ano paano mo nabalik ulit yung name and yung members anong anong pinagdaanan bago dumating doon well kasi uh, busy naman ng camera walls and and the label and mm. all your various you know underground projects paano nabalik That's a time when I was uh, thinking about uh, taking care of my legacy. Kasi tumatanda ka na, di ba? Tapos, siyempre, you're more learned on the business side. Why why the fuck am I not monetizing my own songs? Di ba? So, when, when other bands are, are using, I mean, playing your yeah, songs. Yes, yes. Why am I not saying it? I'm so stupid, right? <laughs> di ba? <laughs> And uh, siyempre, financially, it, wasn't, it was difficult for me. Uh, lalo na nung wala akong banda nung Dragonfly Collector lang. Uh, so, nakikita tayo kung saan-saan mm-hmm. as Dragonfly Collector sa Davao. Davao, I think, yeah. Sa Amerika. Mm-hmm. Di ba? Kung saan-saan. <laughs> Nandito si Clem. Sumalang lang bigla, di ba? Oh, kung saan-saan ka rin nakarating as, as Dragonfly Collector. Grabe yung tour na yun. Uh, ako lang yata nakapag-tour ng four months non-stop backpack lang. Gitara lang dala. Gitara lang dala ko, dala ko tapos naka-backpack lang. Minsan may dala pa akong tent. So, 60 gigs 'yun in, America, in Europe, 40 provinces. Gigs. Wow. Four States, months. Uh, De, dito. Dito sa Pilipinas. Sino mo lang ko sa Pilipinas? Ah, uh, <coughs> ano available na transportation? Bus, roro, tricycle, tricycle lang, lang. Wala road. Wala. Walang road. Wala. Walang ro- walang road manager. Wala, ako lang, mag-isa. May that's, kasama ako. That's, that's indie rock. Si Ian pa na nasa offshore na ngayon. Mm-hmm. Siya yung nagfo-front sa akin at nagka-camera. So, dalawa lang kami. And uh, gusto ko lang talaga ma-try. And then uh, nung nagawa ko 'yon, apat na buwan, sinubukan ko sa Southeast Asia. Sa uh, kanakarating, Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand, Myanmar, wow. Cambodia, Vietnam. Okay daw sa Myanmar. Anong Vietnam. audience? <laughs> Halo, Pinoy. Sa Singapore, Pinoy. Mm-hmm. The rest, locals. Locals. And then you'd sing mm-hmm. English Tagalog songs. Puro English yung mm-hmm. English materials ko sa Dragonfly Collector. Okay, okay. So, pu- some of them cold calls lang. Like, uh, send ko lang yung email. Ito yung album ko. Dahil naintindihan nila. Hindi sila Pinoy eh. Mm. Naintindihan nila. O sige, sounds good. 
Let, let's do it. Let's do it. Tuloy, tuloy na. Grabe. Mm. So, yun. I wanted to test the album sa foreign market kasi. Mm. And then, ginawa ko rin sa Canada tsaka sa, sa US. Mm. O, isang buwan ako sa sa New York noon. Eh. Kita kami ni Diego. Mm. Uh, I'm, um, aside from my gig na Pinoy crowd, mag-open mic ako kasi nasaan ako tumutugtog. May isang open mic doon. Ako lang yung hindi hip-hop eh. Mm. <laughs> Uh, most of them are blacks. Mm-hmm. But uh, very appreciative. Kinusubuan mm-hmm. mm. ko lang talaga. Mahirap Parang, yun. <laughs> Mahirap yeah. yun. Yung iba yung audience. Mm-hmm. Ibang lahi, ibang music. I wanted to test myself eh. Hanggang, right. saan, hanggang saan ko ba ayang gawin to. Diba? And hanggat malakas pa. And uh, yung freedom that goes with it. Yeah. So, grabe yung experience. Uh, 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 immeasurable in terms of uh, experience. You know? Yun nga lang, walang pera. Oh, so, mm. Pag-uwi ko, shit, paano ang gagawa ng pera? <laughs> diba? How do I fund my passion projects? Kasi yung, like yung Dragonfly Collector, uh, kinroud fund ko lang yan. I was able to raise $10,000 from 250 plus people. Oh. Kaya naiplaka ko yun. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I was devoid of any resources during that time. Kasi rock and roll lang talaga. And, uh... Ayun, uh, nagkataon na, uh, ayun, iniisip ko na rin yung Orange and Lemons. Why don't I form it? Because sayang, si Toti, hindi niya monetize yung first album. Mm-hmm. Naka-shelf lang. And uh, wala ako natatanggap na royalties from Universal mm-hmm. during that time. And, uh, uh, ayun nga, uh, gusto kong ma-preserve yung legacy. So, ayun, nag, uh, kinonta ko sila, yung dalawa. magkapatid. Sino? Si Ace tsaka si JM. Okay. Nasa San Sila based at the time? May, uh, Bulacan ke- pa rin o dito? Bulacan pa rin. Uh, may banda sila ni Makoy, Kenyo. Ah, kasama mm-hmm. din sila sa Kenyo? Oo. Oh, oh. Okay. So, existing Kinunta pa yun. Sila. Okay. Hindi, <laughs> ang kinunta ko muna yung asawa. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi hindi pa kami speaking terms eh. Okay, We haven't okay. really talked for 10 years or so. Ba't silang dalawa lang? Ba't hindi mo pa tinatlo? In, kami ni Makoy, ano yun, medyo yung malalim yung, yung, malalim na yung parang yun. we don't want to work with each other anymore. Okay, understood. So, at that point, uh, eh, hindi eh, sila busy eh. Okay. Baga, medyo na tunog Anong ako, year to? Anong year? 2017. Okay, before the Or 2016 pa. pa lang, oh, nagtatry na ako. Tinawagan mo sila, oh, okay. So, hindi, yung, yung asawa, asawa yung drummer. si Ace asa on Ace baka pwedeng magkaroon ng audience with the two with the two so ah, ganun kalalim kailangan may mm, ano may mediator may med- yeah 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 so ang ang proposal ko lang noon was to re-record the first album okay yung, why re-record eh, kasi hindi namin ma-monetize eh. ah, ang dahil, may-ari kasi Eterno Recordings Eterno. okay ah uh, mm-hmm. tsaka ayoko nung tunog noon eh mhm Oh. Hindi, hindi bata ka pa mag-record. Oo. Oh. Oh. Uh, tsaka yung ayoko rin yung accent. Okay. Yung British accent. So, di ba? That's not our voice. That's not our true voice. So, yun. Yun talaga ang purpose. Not to play gigs. Kung baga, monetize the songs. Uh, kaya lang, nung nag-kita, nag-usap na kami tatlo, so, sabi ni JM, bakit di tayo tumugtog? Uh. <laughs> so, Okay. So, yun na. Uh, okay. If that if, if that's the case, uh, may iba yung scenario ngayon. We have to announce a uh, reformation. Where was the first show? 70s Bistro. Wow. <laughs> Sinong kasama? Sinong... Kami lang. Fools. Kami lang. Wala. Ang haba ng night. pila sa labas. Oh my God. Oo. So, wala. Sorry. Maraming sorry. din nakapasok. Pero... Ang hirap ng adjustment kasi kakanta ka. Tas bumalik. From so many years of playing acoustic guitar, mm-hmm. I took up the electric guitar again. So, ang malaking adjustment siya. Tapos, yeah. Tatlo lang kayo o, o may... Ta- uh, tatlo kami. Nag-start kami ng tatlo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, ikaw lahat ng vocal duties? Ako lahat. Mm-hmm. Paano yung harmonies? Uh, try sila. Si JM tsaka si Ace. Okay, si okay. Ace nag-harmonize. Oh, joining the gigs. Pero ikaw lahat ng lead vocals. Ako na lahat. Wow. Ang, ang ganito kasi... Lead vocals and lead guitar. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hirap eh. Ang hirap. Wala nang rhythm. Nawala yung rhythm. Okay. So, kaya nga eventually, 
nung nag-iisip ako, magdadagdag ako ng gitarista ba? Or keyboardist? I, I finally decided na, kasi kung rhythm lang gagawin, keyboardist na lang idadagdag ko. Okay, saan mo nahanap? Uh, nag, I put out an ad. Oh. So, we're looking for a keyboardist. So, as ONL? Or? As Orange and Lemon. Okay, okay. Buo na kami. Siguro mga two years na kami tumutugtog. Ang payat eh. So, ayun. Uh, ng tunog, kamo. Ang payat ng tunog. Okay, oh, alam ko kung ano yung payat. <laughs> Pwede payat yung kita. Pwede payat yung tunog. Ah, pareho, yung pareho, tunog. pareho. Parang payat <laughs> yung kita kasi hinahanap nila si Makoy. Eh. Hinahanap, of course. Of oh, course. So, so, how, do you ex- how do you explain to the crowd? Parang, yeah. it's your fans, di ba? They will always say that. Yeah, always. pero you know, parang pointless na to explain every time eh. So, parang... Uh, parang sila umalis ng Kenyo. Nung... <laughs> Papaalam sila kay Makoy. Okay. Kaya lang, nung natunog ka agad ni Makoy, dinisman niya ka agad yung kaya niyo. Ah, okay, okay. So, so parang, for him, it's... Pointless. Oh. Oo, parang ganun. Tingin mo ba any chance, like, sa future, na mag, mababalik kayong apat? Or no... Ano? Ako, ano na ako eh. Uh, Kung baga, wala na akong water under the bridge sa akin mm-hmm. lahat nangyari. Matanda na tayo man. Di ba? Parang, di ba? Hindi ko nadadali na sa hukay yan. Mm-hmm. Kung baga, kung may problema tayo, tapos na sa akin yan. Di ba? Uh, it's up to them na lang. Kung may nagawa akong hindi maganda in the past, it's up to them to forgive me. Di ba? But ako, mm-hmm. I've forgiven everyone na who, who, does, who did shit to me. Uh-huh. Wala nang kaso yun. Pero yun, uh, ang question na lang is, dito is, uh, we will, will we still work together? Kasi yun, performing for uh, like uh, a one night, one, one off na show, why not, di ba? Uh-huh. Pero to be part of the business uh, model itself, ibang usapan na yun. Okay. So, di ba? Kasi iba na eh. Kasi Orange and Lemons is a corporation now. Okay. You're being smart now. <laughs> yeah. Smart businessman. <laughs> Trademark smart and all. Smart businessman talking, uh, that's right. So, About time. Yung, paano na, wait, na, na, naputol yung keyboardist, paano yung audition? Madami ba? O may paano mo na, ma- paano mo na pili? Parang ikaw, bagay ka sa bandang to. <laughs> marami nag-email, marami nagparamdam. Uh, it so happened, si Jared, kilala na namin. Okay. Space Flower Show. Mm-hmm. So, brother band namin sila uh, under Sky there. yan eh. Ska, ah, okay. Ska, Ska sila. Ska sila. Uh, and then, uh, kilala namin. Isang under one management kami before. So, ayun. Nag-send siya ng resume. Wow. May, may photo. Naka-corporate attire. <laughs> <laughs> Galing. <laughs> And nakakatawa, nung tumawag na ako sa kanya, hindi uh, siya naniniwala. Minura pa ako. <laughs> oh, minura pa ako. Akala niya may nagpa-prank sa kanya. So, ayan, natawa lang ako. But uh, eventually, nag-audition siya sa amin. Uh, it took a while bago nakapag-adjust. No? Nahanap na, nahanapan namin ang place in the band. Kasi ano, una yung tinutok, chank, 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 chank. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi nga eh. Hindi nga eh. Yung unang jam namin, para kaming South Border. <laughs> Ama, ma- pia- pianistic. Oh, okay. pianistic. <laughs> Nothing bad okay. with South Border. <laughs> yeah, uh, na- pianistic na origin. Oh, parang music. naging... <laughs> Alam mo yun? R&B. Oh, parang R&B, R&B naging guys. dating. Gusto <laughs> <laughs> ko marinig tuloy yun. R&B. Oh, oh, oh. So, yeah. Soul Malikot siya. Soul and L. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> But now he's part of the band. Well, he was, he's now an official member of the band. Okay. Oh. Uh, tell us From, your... From uh, two years of... Uh, session. Session as a session player until we nakasama siya sa mga songwriting and all. Uh, and then hanggang sa... Nag-buy in siya. Uh, <laughs> good job. So, good job. I have a question. Di ba, um, sabi niyo ni record niyo and mm. then nilagay niyo sa Spotify and then that's when nag- kaya, kaya, nagka-royalties ka. Tama ba? Gan- ganun ba yung oh, is yes. that how it works? Oh, so, it's monetizing now. Uh, a few thousand euros annually. Wow. So it's not bad. Mm. Diba? Where do you think is the new resurgence of of you guys touring coming from? Is it is it from YouTube, mm. TikTok, Instagram? Mm. Honestly, we don't know, man. Okay. Eh. Oh, just riding the wave. Oh, hindi. Because I'm seeing you guys all over the place. You you played with us uh, 19 East. Mm-hmm. Tain mm-hmm. It's like there's a resurgence. Mm-hmm. And then yun nga. 
So what are your your future plans from now on? I mean, starting this year. Uh, this year. What, what can the fans expect from Orange and Lemons? We just recorded two singles. Para ang cover siya, isang isang cover ng uh, Carpenters. What song? A Burt Bacharach song, Close to You. Oh. Mm. So may version kami nun. And uh, a Smith song. Close to you, like, Why do birds yeah. suddenly appear? Mm-hmm. The Smiths, ano namang song? Uh, secret mo na. I secret! <laughs> Kasi we're coming out, uh, my label is coming out with a uh, Smiths compilation album. Oh. Wow. Parang the Philippine indie tribute to the Smiths. Like, more than 15 artists will contribute to that. What is your favorite? What? Not considering the song, what is your favorite Smith song of all time? Sa ngayon, Well, I Wonder. Well, I Wonder. Oh, yeah. And uh, plans, uh, we need to write, we need to get back to our creative hat and okay. write more songs. Kasi naubos oras namin sa gigs. Eh. Yeah. And syempre, pamilyado yung lahat ng kabanda ko. So may mga obligations din siya on the side. So we need to make more time to to see each other. And hindi uh, na kami nakakapag-rehearse eh. Are you all Bulacan-based pa rin? Um, dalawa sa amin, Bulacan. Ako, si JM, si Ace sa Marikina na. Ah, talaga? Oh, Dapat pala, sila. pinapunta na din natin. Ah, actually, kasama ko sila lahat. Din- dinrap lang ako. Ah, talaga? Oo. Oh. So, pag sundo nila, ayun, baka nandito rin yun. Mag-hello tayo mm. mamaya pag ano. So, ayun. And uh, we need to write a new album. So, hindi, hindi ko lang alam kung anong direction. So, so, definitely, hindi na siya kundi man. Okay. So, maybe uh, uh, an all English album. Siguro, we're, 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 fa- we're still figuring out kung rock album siya or what. Diba? Psychedelic. Uh-huh. Or ska. Ska. <laughs> Psychedelic. Diba? Hindi namin Psychedelic. alam eh. Uh, yeah. Meron ka pang tanong, Darren? Wala naman na. Hmm. Oh, thank you for taking your time. Yeah. Alam ko, mahirap kang kontakin kasi Bulacan. Ang daming nagre-request. But oh. I know you're coming from Bulacan. Yeah. You're very busy. Thanks so, for taking, ano, so, taking the time so, to salam. drive. Malayo rin eh. Pas- yes. Pasensya na rin. Papaliguli ko yung... <laughs> We'd like to thank Likhang Harina. Ubus ko na. We'd like to thank KL and Bob and Bajau for helping us with this episode. Salamat, guys. All right. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.